Hello guys, hello guys, it's Joe here, and I am joined with John, and John's got a story he's going to introduce, and we're going to discuss it. Go well on. then, the first story I have is about Colonel Gaddafi's house in the, the centre of London being uh, taken over by squatters. Now this house is uh, worth about 10.9 million, is that right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it from the outside, but apparently it's got huge rooms and a sauna, so... So, um, yeah. judge of the location and the sauna, it's, that's probably why it's worth so much. And there's people protesting about what's happening in Libya, about mm -hmm. uh, Gaddafi being a dick and just like killing everyone with jets and that. <laughs> are they so, Libyans uh, that are squatting there? Are they Libyans or are they just... Um, I think they are Libyans, so they're just like random like, Greenpeace people or whatever. Because you know what, like, there's some nutty people who just like, protest just for the sake of protesting. But I think, I think they're... Uh, Libyans, and it, it was originally two squatters, and now it's gone up to like eighteen or something like that. Mhm. Mm and there's are they still there? Are they still jamming in there? Yeah, I'm, as far as I know, they are. Last time I, uh, I watched the news, they, they were still like there outside, and it's when all of these squatters have been here for eighteen hours now, and they've just they have no sign of showing to go away. So uh, they're probably gonna be there for a while. I mean, it's, they got squat to get squatters out. Don't you have to? Uh, Get a court order. It takes a twenty. Ah, uh, squatters can claim for squatters' rights and so forth, and it can be oh, it's just like there's loads of stuff you got to go through to get rid of them. The thing is, if uh, they force their way in, like through a window or something, like a broken window, then that's legal, isn't it? They have to have like a that's be a door open or a window open or something. Yeah, I think so. I'm not quite sure. I'm not. I'm not too educated on what squatters go for, but can you? I imagine? know. And like you you're part of your work or something, and there's a lot of fucking tramps in your house. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it goes like that. I mean, if you leave your house unattended for a certain amount of time, you come back and the squatters in there. You can't really get rid of them, and you've got to call the police and such. But they can claim rights, and if they claim rights, it becomes expensive and time-consuming. It's like that um, story about the matter wasn't it wasn't too long ago. And uh, this Albanian guy uh, called Lutrim, I wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. This Albanian guy, he uh, came over to Britain on like a back of a lorry or something. And he's squatting in this like eight, no, not 800 million. It was like this fucking mansion. And he was yeah. squatting in there, living there. And he had like all French people and stuff living there with him. And I just thought that was interesting. Like, he managed to live there for a couple of months before he was evicted. Before he was evicted. And I can't remember who it belonged to. I think it was one of the, uh, it wasn't the royal family. Who was it? There's some Italian guy who owned it. You know, you were saying earlier about people can do some crazy things in process. Sort of. Yeah. I, I was remember I was in lesson once and we was had this example of these people from like, you know, the Farmers Alliance. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it was when the ban on fox hunting and hunting was coming down sort of thing. Yeah. And pretty much there wasn't much they could do about it. But there was about six of them. And they decided to break in to where the to where the voting was being done by the the lords and all that shit. Yeah. And like they did it proper fucking good like. They um they dressed up as security members to get past the cameras and <laughs> loads of stuff like that. And then they go in there and oh they just burst into the room and start shouting stuff with picket signs. It was useless in the end, but it was still great for them, and these are, these farmers are organised. Uh, it wasn't so much farmers, it was more like the posh people, wasn't it? Or the people yes. who were hunting and stuff. It is cruel, they shouldn't really... Posh people and some farmers, they were... The Farmers Alliance were part of it, I'm sure of it. It was... Um, oh, fuck, the Conservatives said they were going to reintroduce it, didn't they? When they, got, when they oh got, yeah, I heard about that. I don't know if it was true or not. I don't think they, they probably slipped under the door. It's probably legal now. <laughs> um, this something to look into. Isn't there, Isn't it still legal? Yeah, you, you can only use like two dogs or something though. Um, I'm not quite sure to be honest. It was on the news for like a year straight, and I still didn't even know the law. Hmm. Probably uh, not much bureaucracy around it. I'm not sure. I maybe one of us will look into that and bring it up later. But not now. Yeah, not now. 
probably in the video later on we'll record with Lutra and we'll, we'll tell you. But. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think we've got anything else to say. No. Do we? No, not really. Okay, well, um, I guess that's the end of this installment. Sorry, so, so, say goodbye, John. Goodbye. Well, see you guys later. Don't forget to comment on your views on these squatters and what you would do if you come home and there's squatters in your house and such, or if you've had experience with it and you know any of the laws. But, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. Yeah, please tell us, we have no idea what the fuck the laws are. Like, so I thought that people were just coming to your house and just squatting house. Yeah. Uh, so I hope that's tell what us, Educate us. Yeah. Peace out, guys. Mm. Peace.